Creepy. Guards. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I have to give you some rather bad news. Huh? Bad news? You will be imprisoned in the North Tower. There. You will be tortured until you tell us the real reason you chose to come here. Tortured? Did he say tortured? Take them away. What's your last name? Your last name? Eddie, what's our last name? I don't know. Eddie, there's something wrong with us. don't know your last name. Do you think it might be possible to check into this hotel sometime this evening? Yes, madam, right away. Thank you. Now, why don't you run along? And when you figure out who you are, come back. I'll be glad to help you then. Madam. Thank you. What's going on? Just calm down. We can't panic. The driver. Now you can panic. Come on. I'm in the restaurant. As I'm sure you are aware, a jacket is required for gentlemen in the Balmoral Lounge. Jacket? I'm sorry, my brother doesn't have a jacket. Most odd. A jacket for the young gentleman. Could you seat us somewhere in the back? I wouldn't dream of seating you anywhere else. Welcome to the Balmoral. May we have a menu, please? Our high tea includes scones, croissants, sandwiches. We'll have that, thank you. Why can't we remember our last name, Sue? I don't know. If only we could find Mom and Dad. Eddie, I can't even remember what they look like. Neither can I. Sue? Where do we live? Do we live in a house? I can't picture it at all. I can't remember. This is crazy. People are staring. There must be something wrong with our memories. I can remember what I did today. So can I. I can remember our room number. And that mom and dad were at a meeting. But those memories are wrong. Eddie, I can't even remember yesterday or the day before that, can you? No. I can't. What's wrong with us? Sue? What's the matter? I don't know. I feel strange. I feel like... Something awful is gonna happen to us. I think you're right. Well, maybe 
if we explain? What, that we lost our memories and we can't pay him? Maybe we sneak it through there. Grab those kids! Run, run, run! That's all we do anymore! I know, I know. Keep running. Wait a minute. No one's following us. What is this place? I guess it's the hotel kitchen. I gave up. I think we're okay. This has got to be the worst day I've ever had. How do you know? Can't remember any others. <laughs> so funny. That jacket. <sighs> Thanks. You're welcome. Think that you could escape from me? Give it back. Give what back? Don't play games with me. Give it to me now. If I give it back to you, will you let us go? Give what back, Eddie? What's he talking about? Will you? Hand it to me. A mad pickpocket. When did you take that? In the dungeon when he grabbed me. Now will you let us go? Yes. We will go now. That's not what I said! Lovero. Stop that! Lovero. No! No! Ah! <laughs> I said it was time for us to go now. 
Where is Eddie? Do you know where Eddie is? Eddie? <laughs> Do not worry about Eddie. Come now. You cannot delay your fate. You've made a mistake. You've got the wrong girl. I don't know you. I don't know anything. You will come with me now. It is time. No! I'm not coming with you! <laughs> <laughs> You've got to hide me. No, you get Please. away from here. Please. No. Oh. I'll hit you. I'll hit you. Here, take them. Take them all. Cold sovereigns. I, I saw one once when I was a small lass. Will you take them? Will you take them? Will you hide me, please? All right, quick me. Into the basket. Please. I'm looking for the girl. Yes. She's right here, sire. I put her right here in this basket. She's all wrapped up and ready for you to take her away. <laughs> God! Forgive me, but I dare not go against the Lord High Executioner. Executioner? Silence! But we didn't do anything! We we're innocent! Lock them away. Where are we? What's happening to us? I don't know. Everything's different. have done nothing to deserve it, Susanna. Your Grace, I wish I could say I rejoice at your return. May I rise? Yeah, sure. Your Grace. It's okay. You're the face we saw. Who are you? You do not remember me. Why does everyone think we remember them? And my name's not Susanna, it's Sue. My name is Morgrid. I am the king's sorcerer. Sorcerer? Did you bring it back in time? It's not an easy story to tell. You are not. Eddie and Sue. What? You are Edward and Susanna, the prince and princess of York. I do not expect you to believe me, but my words are true. I cast a spell upon you. I tried to help you escape. No, 
It's not true. My name's Eddie, not Edward. Just Eddie. What is your last name? Oh. When I sent you far into the future, I gave you new memories so that you could survive in a new and distant time. But the memories were not complete. So that's why we couldn't remember our parents. But our parents... Your real parents. Your only parents. The rightful king and queen are dead. No. So... Your wicked uncle has named himself king. And he has ordered you to the tower to get you out of the way. What was he gonna do to us? Edward of York and Susanna of York, by order of the king, you have been condemned to execution by beheading. No. So it is decreed, and so it shall be done. has worn off. Good Margaret, I commend thee for thy valiant service to Susanna and me. I promised your parents to keep you from harm. And now... Do not despair, you did your best. We may be gone, but the idea of freedom lives on. My brother, let us face the executioner's acts with dignity. three white stones, and without them, my magic is weak. I wanted to come to the future with you, to make sure you were safe. Alas, it was not meant to be. Instead, the executioner sent himself into the future to catch you and bring you back. I failed. I failed, and now we all shall pay with our lives. Spare the girl and boy. Do with me as you must. But first allow me to send them into the future. What harm can they possibly do you there? And allow them to grow up and become strong. To find a way to return and take their revenge? I think not. Bring forth the condemned! Be brave, Edward. Be brave. 
leave the group. I could get in trouble. There you are. We've been looking all over for you. We made it, yes! Made what? What are you going on about? Don't you know, you gave me quite a fright. If I lost two tourists, they'd have my head. I'm afraid it's my fault. Morgren! <laughs> Mr. Morgren. Uh, I'm Sue and Eddie's guardian. Uh, they're my responsibility. I, uh, I'll make sure they don't get lost again. Mm, well, come on then. The tower closes in five minutes. You wouldn't want to get locked in. No, no, we wouldn't want that at all. All right now, to the bus, to the bus! Step lively, tourists! Step lively! Those children should be disciplined. Excuse me, but we never heard the rest of the story. Yeah! What happened to the prince and princess in the tower? Nobody knows exactly. When the king came to the dungeon, the prince and the princess were gone. What happened to them is a mystery to this day. <laughs> Come along. Edward! Have you been up to your tricks again? Hey, don't look at me! That's our story. Time to go. The tower is closing. How do you get out of here? Can somebody show me the way out? How do we get out of... Really, somebody help me. Let me out. Let me out of here. 